Hi Stampers! Welcome to Robin's Roost. I'm Robin Rassett, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Minnesota. And today I want to show you a super quick and fun card technique called over stamping. So what you're going to do is you're going to stamp a whole bunch and it's really fun. You know, just bang, 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 stamp a bunch. And then you're going to do that in a light color. And then you're going to go over top of it with a darker solid image to give it kind of a fun background and then and then the dark image on the top. So this is a great technique when you just, you know, you don't have much time, but you really want to get some stamping in and you want to do lots of stamping. You know, like sometimes you just, you just want to stamp, right? Or maybe I'm the only crazy person like that. But anyways, I'm using the um, Share Milkshake stamp set for this card. And I've got a couple other ones I'll show you at the end that we're done with the um, Biggest Wish and just all all words right this one has some words in the background and then the milkshake on the top with a few gems on it so let's flip the camera and i'll show you how to do this simple card so for this card we're going to start with the blackberry bliss card base and i've already added in um, a little piece of white on the inside know that when you use a dark card base like this you need to have something on the inside to write with now this technique can be used with any um stamp set that has you want to have something with a fairly dark image now you can use images for the background too and i've heard it called over stamping so i've got um a sweet sorbet matte layer that is oh gosh i always remember, forget these it is five and a quarter by four and then my white piece is five by three and three fourths so a quarter inch difference on those so you want to have a lighter color and a darker color ink that you're going to be you know something light for the background so it doesn't overpower your um, your words or image that you have on the top when you're over stamping so I'm using the share milkshake bundle or, or stamp set um, I'm not going to be using the dies this is just a simple card no die cutting um, so I'm taking a greeting. This one says, life is sweeter with you. And this is the um, bubble bath ink. So it's a nice light color. And I'm just gonna stamp lots. And you can um, stamp more than once if you want. So I'm making a background with this. And it's kind of fun when you, you know, you, you can even bang on it if you want, you know. Oh my gosh, I gotta get some energy out so you're just going to create your background like that and you can see that you know you can read some of the words but not all of the words and you can actually this would be nice on this one to put on the inside then as well so then we have our our image on the top and we're going to use this um, milkshake And this is a nice dark um, solid image so it's going to cover over the oh, cat hair the bane of my existence and then now we could use a, a different color with the, um, the over stamping for this one or uh, the two-step stamp but I'm going to try to do it here with the same color and this is really tricky to do and not get your head in it so a quick prayer that I get this on here sort of straight okay not bad and then I think for the um, we've got the the foam on the top you know for the milkshake maybe we want to stamp off or we could use the um, the bubble bath for this we'll stay with the sweet sorbet but stamp off so it's not quite as dark Now I got it a little bit high up to do our our straw. This is this is where you should um, have a little bit more of a plan. Let's see. You know I'm gonna stick with the red. I was thinking maybe black to make it more more obvious, but let's stick with the red. Okay. So 
Here's our straw. Let's see if we can get this in here. It's maybe going to go off the top a little bit. Now here's another one. It's kind of tricky to line up. I don't know if I should have the angle part down. Not bad. I'm happy with that. So then let's just go ahead and put the greeting on the inside too. And I think I'm going to use the darker color. Now, if this was the darker color and I'd be stamping into the light color, I'd say, make sure you clean it. But I think we'll be okay with the light. Okay, so we have our greeting on the outside and the inside, the same greeting. And let's go ahead and layer this up. And just imagine you can use this in colors to, to, um, to match your recipient's favorites. Um, if you wanted to, you could get fancy and, and do a die cut instead of the stamping. But this is just kind of a simple, quick and easy card. There. And then we throw a few gems on it and we're done. Now I did want to show you um, for my card class, here, here's, here's actually the card that we did for card class. And this one used just a stamp set that's all greeting. It's called Biggest Wish. And we just did, you know, the, the smaller word happy in the background with the birthday, the dark and the light. And here's one that was done with um, more guy colors. So you can see some different ideas of ways to use this over stamping technique. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, have some fun stamping.